If you're thinking about taking your Facebook branding to the next level, the first two things you'll want to do is change your profile picture and update your Facebook cover photo. A common misconception is that a Facebook cover photo is a one-size-fits-all solution. However, there are several types of Facebook banner images that vary in sizing, so you'll want to make sure that you're creating the right one. So we've created blog posts and videos in the past about Facebook cover photos. However, with all the recent changes made to Facebook's page layout, we decided it's best to create a brand new tutorial that outlines everything you need to know about creating the best Facebook cover photo for your personal and business page. So let's get started. So with three different types of cover photos, you'll want to make sure that you're creating the right banner photo for your needs. The three types include the Facebook group cover photo, the Facebook event banner photo, and finally the Facebook personal and or business page cover photo, which is what we'll be focusing on in today's tutorial. So what you want to do first is make sure that you have the right Facebook cover photo size so that your banner is optimized for Facebook's guidelines. The recommended Facebook cover photo size is 820 pixels by 360 pixels. When creating a personal or business page cover photo, you will need to take into account the safe zones for mobile and desktop devices. On mobile devices, the left and right side of the images will crop, and on desktop or laptop screens, the top and bottom of your banner photo will crop, so we will need to design accordingly. To make things easier, I'm going to be using Snappa to make a Facebook cover photo in less than five minutes. Once I'm in, I'm gonna navigate down to the headers and banners header, and here you'll see the three different types of cover photos that we can create here in Snappa. So for personal and business cover photos, we'll be clicking on the first option here. Once you've selected the right size preset, you'll notice that the best Facebook cover photo dimensions are already built in. Now we can either choose to create a design template from scratch, or we can choose to create a Facebook cover photo using the free custom templates that Snappa offers. These templates can be easily repurposed for your business page along with your personal page, and I'll go ahead and click this one here. Once the canvas is open, you'll notice that the safe zones are already in place. This is to assure that our cover photo can be seen on different devices such as mobile as well as desktop. You have the ability to toggle the safe zone on or off by navigating to the top menu bar. I recommend leaving it on though. So I'm going to create a cover photo that's going to promote my design tutorials. So I'm going to start by editing the text by double clicking on it. Now I have the ability to edit the text, which I'll do here, but I also have the ability to change the font style, the font size, as well as the font color to my liking. So I'm also gonna do the same with the other subheading text. So I'll change this from hosted by to produced by. And I'll change the name to my name, Nick Lee. I'll also change listen and learn to design and learn. And I'll extend the text box by dragging it to the right. Now that I'm happy with the text of my cover photo, I'm going to start by changing some of the colors of the design elements so that it fits my brand colors. So I'll start by clicking the rectangle in the back. As you can see, there's a border on here, so I can either choose to take the border off or I can change the color of my border, but I'm actually going to just change the fill of it, so I'll click on the color picker here. I can then navigate and choose a color of my liking. Now that I'm happy with the colors as well as the text, I can start to change the background image to something more relevant. So I'm going to navigate to the backgrounds tab by navigating to the top left here. From here, I can either choose a photo from our stock photo library. I can choose a pattern background. I can upload my own background. And I can also choose a colored background. So in this case, I'll just change the image background. So I'll navigate to the photos tab. I can then search a relevant term. Once I found an image I like, I'll just click on it. And from here, I can reposition it. And I can also scale in or scale out as I please. And then once I'm done with that, I'll click apply. Now that I'm happy with my Facebook cover photo, what I'm going to do now is rename it. I'll also save it in Snappa so I can make modifications in the future. And finally, I'm going to download it as a retina JPEG for the highest quality. Once it's downloaded to your desktop, you can easily upload it into Facebook. So if you're looking to personalize your Facebook cover photo just a bit more, here's another idea you can do with this exact template. So I'll start by removing the background by navigating to the backgrounds tab and clicking remove. From here, I'll navigate to the pattern background and I'll actually add in a simple background in. Once I found a background I like, I'm gonna click on it. What I'm going to be doing next is navigating to the graphics tab. From here, I'm actually gonna click on vectors. So within Snappa's vector library, we have several hand-drawn illustrations and SVGs. So I'll just add in a couple that I like. So once you know which ones you want, you can simply click on them. 
As they appear on the canvas, I'm going to click and drag it to the left here. I can also change the color of these graphics, so I'll navigate to the color fill on the left. I'll change this one to yellow, and I'm going to go to the graphics tab and add another one in. I'm going to do the exact same by dragging it and repositioning it to where I want it to be, as well as changing the color to the color of choice. So the last thing I'm going to do now is add a portrait of myself into the cover photo image to personalize it a bit more. So I'll navigate to my graphics tab. From here, I'm going to navigate to upload and I can upload an image from my desktop in. Once you have the photo you like, simply click on it. As it appears on the canvas, you can drag it to where you want it to be. Now in Snappa as a premium feature, you can easily remove the image background from your portrait. So I'm gonna do that here. Now that my background is removed, I'm going to resize it as well as reposition it to where I want it to be on my cover photo. So just like that, we've personalized the cover photo just a bit more by adding in a face as well as some hand-drawn illustrations to spice up the graphic just a bit more. Now, once again, we're gonna save it for future modifications, and we're also gonna download it as a Retina JPEG to upload it directly into Facebook. So thanks so much for watching our Facebook video tutorial. Be sure to like this video as well as subscribe to our channel for much more content. If you're looking for more information about Facebook cover photos, along with the different types of Facebook cover photos, be sure to check out all the links that I've linked down below. I'll see you guys all in the next one.